There's a term here Jesus uses. He said, Peter, Satan has desired to have you that he might sift you as wheat. That word sift, S-I-F-T, it's an agricultural term. Now, I've preached in a lot of areas of the country where you'd have to spend 10 minutes explaining to them what an agricultural term was. They don't know. Go to Pittsburgh and talk about agricultural terms. You may as well be talking about outer space. Go to New York City and talk about agricultural terms. They don't have any idea what you're talking about. I'm privileged today to be in a part of the country where you know all too well what an agricultural term is. And if we're going to do what Jesus did, incorporate an agricultural term to prove a general principle, you know what that's all about too. Let me quickly tell you what sifting was in that day. It was a screen put on top of the pot and they put all the parts of the wheat on the screen. In that screen were little holes where only the kernel of the wheat would fall through. So they would shake that screen. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And it wasn't long until they'd pull the screen up. And on top of the screen would be all the junk parts of the wheat. The stalk, all the parts of the wheat that you couldn't eat were on top. And only in the pot were the kernels of wheat. That was the sifting process. An agricultural term Jesus used to point out a general principle. What's the principle? Come on over, baby. Whole lot of shaking going on. Well, what a principle, huh? Some of you wonder why there's so much shaking going on in your life. Why are you being shaken so much? You're being shaken so that God can get the good stuff to fall into the pot and get all the junk to be left on top so it can be thrown away. Some of you are being shaken this morning because you're being sifted so the good stuff can land inside of you and all the bad stuff can be done away with. That's why you got so much shaking going on.